It's weird that I can actually say this, but hoverboards exist. 26 years ago, Back to the Future 2 made them inseparable from our fantasies of the future, and 26 years later, we have them, although they're not quite like the one that Marty McFly used. So, how do modern hoverboards work? Marty McFly's famous futuristic ride has two significant properties. First, it can hover above any surface, and second, it doesn't look to have any moving parts like propellers on the outside. Whatever is going on, it's internal. While today's hover technology can't work above any surface, we'll get to that later, it does hover without any moving parts on the outside, which is pretty McFly. So let's dig into this. If you want a hoverboard, you're going to need magnets, but you can use them in two very distinct ways. The first hoverboard to really burst onto the scene in the last few years was the Hendo hoverboard, which I actually got to ride. Although the company was pretty tight-lipped about how it worked, I, I pried it out of them. The Hendo hoverboard works by taking advantage of magnetic flux. Yes, like the capacitor, which is just a measurement of how many magnetic field lines are passing through a surface. Whenever a conductive surface, like for example copper, encounters magnetic flux, there is an induced or generated electrical current in that surface. And according to Lenz's law, this induced or generated current produces its own magnetic field in opposition to the flux that created it in the first place. These opposing magnetic fields repel each other, which results in levitation. This is also the reason why a large magnet can fall through a copper tube so slowly. The falling magnet creates flux, and the opposing magnetic field that is generated slows the magnet's fall. How, how cool is that? So the Hendo hoverboard works by spinning permanent or electromagnets with motors above a conductive surface like aluminum or copper. This creates flux, which creates an opposing magnetic field, which keeps it all hovering. Boom, hoverboard. That's one way to build a hoverboard, but what if you want something a bit more quantum mechanical? The other board you've probably heard of is Lexus's board, which looks downright awesome. It uses magnets too, but in a different way. Instead of using flux, it takes advantage of a very cool property of superconductors called flux pinning. A superconductor is a material that can conduct electricity with zero resistance. Theoretically, you could run any amount of electricity through it and it wouldn't even heat up. How cool is that? They're super cool, literally. To gain these superconducting properties, all the superconductors that we know of must be cooled down to hundreds of degrees below zero. The other interesting property of superconductors is that they expel all magnetic fields from their bodies. Another type of superconductor, however, called a type two superconductor, does this as well, but it lets in tiny vortices of magnetism that effectively pin the superconductor in place. This combination of magnetic field expulsion and tiny magnetic vortices pinning a superconductor in place adds up to both levitation and staying above the exact point that you are levitating. It's what makes this video so awesome. This is how the Lexus hoverboard works. The board itself is filled with type two superconducting material, which is chilled down with liquid nitrogen, hence the vapor, and the board itself stays pinned above a magnetic rail, which runs underneath the concrete you see in this video. Okay, so these hoverboards still aren't quite like Marty McFly's. They can only go over metal or magnets or they need liquid nitrogen or a lot of batteries. But think about it. In under 30 years, we have hoverboards pretty close to what the movie predicted in the year that it predicted we would have them. Is that a coincidence? Probably. But is it awesome? Yeah. Because science. Want more science? Check out my last video on how many calories are in the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Subscribe to Nerdist for more videos if you want, because science, two days earlier than anyone else, head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash Nerdist. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks. <laughs>